Alright guys, welcome back. So, in the last part, uh, we took on Valencia and we got a very convincing win over them. Uh, and in this part, we're going to be seeing some new debutants playing for us today. So, um, yeah, Fernando Torres has been signed. Um, big signing right there. And a few other signings as well, including Felipe, who I wanted. And Heitinger, who's very good at the back. Uh, despite him playing for Everton in real life, but putting that aside. And... You know, we know the situation with Torres as well. But other than that, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And I'm I'm more than happy with the signings that we made so far already. Um, you know what I mean? I will take that all day from what we've signed. Rubinho! Um, you know what I mean? We've got two um, defenders, uh, just like I wanted, really. Um, we could sign Kolstrom as well. He's not playing, but he's on the bench. And yeah, Torres up front is uh, is probably the main big signing. Um, and oh, nearly in there. Uh, I think that was Gerard. And uh, yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. The only other things I could really think of, honestly, is if um, we was able to maybe. Um, bring in a younger kid or something like that, you know, just for the simple reason that we can put him in on loan or something like that. And you know, what I mean, our I would think our our team uh, budget is something like twenty four thousand that we have to pay out, and we've got twenty seven thousand at the moment. So I'm gonna have a crack at goal here. Oh, that keeper. Um, you know what I mean? So I'm I'm absolutely fine with that. Um, you know what I mean? Get the deals done early, then rather leave it late, I think. So that's fine. And we just signed Torres from Atletico Madrid, who we're going to be playing here today. Um, um, yeah, he's playing against the team we just signed him from for his first game. So it's kind of interesting. But um, yeah, no, it, it'll be really good for us, though, to be honest. I'm happy with the money that we've spent. And you know what I mean? It's all about... Torres! Oh! Could have been a great first goal for him. Um, you know, it's all about just winning games now and uh, getting the team into a good uh, position ready for the league. So, hopefully that will start off well and a great goal there from Garcia. In off the bar. What a header. That's brilliant, because I think Torres was up there with Henri for the, the top goal scorers. And, um, yeah, I, you know what I mean? He's, he's really young as well, so why not sign him? And I'm looking forward to having him playing for the team. This was a great header. Look at this. Oh, just in there. Not a bad start to the match right there. Um, and that, I think that corner came from Torres' chance as well, so that wasn't bad. Um, so, yeah. Very nice start to the match here today, and um, yeah, in terms of transfers, the only really other thing that I could think of is maybe just trying to bring in, um, I was looking at goalkeepers actually, and looking at the future potential of goalkeepers, but the problem is we've already got Carson to be honest, um, Reina's still pretty young to be honest, so I don't know really, um, oh, Rabinho there, stop running. Um, you know what I mean? I, I was been after Johan Pelle for the past um, few transfer windows, um, but I haven't managed to get him. Um, uh, somebody suggested Frederiksen, who's apparently a goalkeeper, and he's got good free kick um, accuracy or shooting or something like that. Um, unfortunately, I've tried to look for him. I can't find him, so I'm guessing he's a PES-generated... Um, player possibly um, so I don't know about that um, so yeah that's the really only thing I can really think of to be honest at this moment so good ball Torres what a first goal for Torres brilliant Rubinho took it down to him on the head and then volleyed it. Unbelievable first goal for him. Absolutely fantastic. What a way to make your debut. He's been given the number nine shirt as well. Um, so Cissé is now going to be number 19 instead. And uh, 
Oh, how about that? That was a great first goal. Now that's that's what we signed him for. That is what we signed him for. That is just a taster of things to come, hopefully. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this season. I, you know, we've still got this game, and we've still got five other preseason matches to go. Yeah, you know, it's there's still a long, long way before we can actually um, get the competitive season underway. But and um, you know, what I mean, at this at this moment, we're still classed as like season two because that's how the preseason is done. It classes it with the um, the previous season, so we won't um, we won't know any fixtures until the um, the this is over with, really. Um, so they're bringing on a sub pretty early in this match. It was a great ball by Garcia though to. Um, to a Rubinho there to get it on his head and then he just nodded it down for Torres and that was just amazing. Heitinger and Philippe here at the back today, um, if I didn't mention that already. Um, you know, hopefully those guys are going to play really good for us. Garcia with the shot, not powerful enough, angle was too tight. Almost given away. Touch. Oh, couldn't make much of it there. Goal kick. So yeah, uh, um, d actually, um, Atletico Madrid was the most voted team that you guys wanted to see um, in the end. So uh, that's why uh, we're playing them in pre-season um, here today as well. Um, you might be thinking, oh, why didn't you play it? Um, play them first. Well, actually, I uh, I, I put all the, the teams that were voted uh, randomly, um, drew it out as random, and uh, they came out as fair. All the Spanish teams came out first, which was a bit weird. Um, so there's no going to be no more Spanish teams after uh, this game today. And um, but we're going to be playing some other teams that we haven't. Um, played yet as well uh, in the uh, in the Master League, that's a great header back. Sissoko is in the midfield today as well if I didn't mention that. Torres! Oh and another goal for Torres! That is brilliant. Straight away he's on for a hat trick. It's just absolutely clinical in front of goal. Created a little bit of space there, just kind of put it beyond the keeper. Stretched out with his leg, but couldn't reach there in the end. Brilliant. 3 0 already. This is just absolute domination, really. But I'm thinking that I kind of don't want to use um, the 4 3 3 anymore because the simple reason that it's maybe a little bit too OP and I want to give myself a little bit more challenge, you know. But, uh, that's done really well. Uh, that's a good ball. Reina, uh, sorry, Carson is in goal today because he was on high form. Um, so I brought him on, and uh, Reina's resting. Um, you know what I mean? Heitinger and Felipe haven't really had much to do today so far. So, but that's fine. You know what I mean, they are there to defend the goal if it needs defending. Oh, very close from Garcia there. I think perhaps the pressure from defence affected his shot on that one. Well, I'm very excited about the signing of Torres, to be honest. Um, you could even say I was even more excited about this right now than I was when the first time the actual Liverpool signed him. Zahinos, <laughs> Gerard, Fernando Torres. Nice stretch into the play, pushing forward. Only five minutes until the break. Petrov there. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be really making any more signings. I want to be careful with the transfer budget. I want to try and get some players out if I can, more than anything else. That's what I want to do. Um, you know, so it depends who we're going to try and get out, really. 
Um, like, I, like I've said, there's a few players that I think need to move on, kind of. Um, and Rubinho brought down there, nothing given. We are kind of playing a full strength team today, so, you know. Oh, Garcia can't hold on to it. And it's back with Madrid. Well, 3 0 up at half time. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. And if uh, Torres can get a hat trick, I'll be very happy with that. Very nice. Well, second half then, uh, nothing else to really say. Um, one other thing that I kind of forgot about was um, we did receive an offer for Sissoko in the last part. Um, now, the thing about that is I've gone and decided that I'm not going to accept it. Because um, I think he, he played really well, he's a really young player, he's got time to develop even better than he is. You know, I honestly think that would be a mistake to get rid of him. I'm really happy with the team we've got at the moment, to be honest. It just kind of depends if, um, you know, some of the new signings can handle it well. Um, Torres seems to fit in really well so far. Um, and Felipe was great when he was on loan, so that's fine. I'm happy with that. Um, Heitinger, I'm going to assume that he'll do a good job for us. Um, and other than that, there's not really much else to say. Um, Kalstrom, Kalstrom's the one I'm kind of worried about, um, honestly. Um, you know what I mean? He could potentially either be a flop or not. That was way off target. So, I'm, you know, I'm confident that they'll play well, you know, so... But we have got a lot of attacking options, honestly. A lot, a hell of a lot of attacking options. You know what I mean? We've got Giladino, Cissé, Schwartz, uh, possibly Shimizu if we need him to. He can play midfield as well if we need him. Um, Torres, Garcia, you know. You know what I mean? We're not short of attacking options, so it, it's always good to have, honestly. Um... But to be honest, I'm really content with the squad we've got at the moment. So I think we'll be fine. That's going to be gathered up by Carson. Yeah, Carson's uh, really good. Every time I've played him, really, he's been fantastic. Um, so, to be honest, um, I'm thinking that there's no really reason to bring in any kind of young keeper because I think Carson's pretty good anywhere. Um, you know what I mean? I don't want to overload on players, to be honest, and get players in that I don't honestly really need. You know what I mean? That is a great ball into the middle. Rubinho! Great header from him. Four nil. Great cross in there by Garcia. He's really good at his crossings, Garcia. And see him running in there. The goal. The uh, the defender there just let him have it. Really. Not the tallest player in the world, but um, you know you shouldn't be le really letting Rubinho score a header. <laughs> to be honest, I think. Um, well, he's a really good player. Oh, nearly a good pass by Torres there. Uh. Just 
absolutely oh, yeah. tearing the defence apart. But no, I'm, I'm really glad that we've been been able to bring in a big signing. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's that's when I when I saw the amount of um, points that we had, we had like a good oh, yeah. thirty thousand to spend. When I saw that, that's when I kind of thought, actually, you know what? I really do want to bring in a big signing with that money. You know what I mean? I want to get the defenders, but a big signing as well if I can. And. Uh, you know what I mean? A lot, a lot of the time on Pez, to be honest, uh, when I do play a Master League, I'm always kind of finding myself struggling to get the right players that I want sometimes. Um, and one, one of the problems with that is kind of like you're leaving it a little bit too late to get the deals done and then you end up like not signing the player that you was trying to go after. You know, you put in like seven bids for him or something like that and you just can't sign that one player that you want so badly, no matter how much you offer. Um, but it hasn't been the case uh, here, and I'm, I'm content with it, honestly. But if we, if we, you know, play these pre-season games, um, you know, I'll keep checking the transfer market and see what else is there. To be honest, you never know. There might be just one cheap player that's good to pick up, possibly, um, and whatnot. So. Well read. But the main point is we've done it early and got it done. Maxi Rodriguez. Colsa. We're in possession down the left wing. It's good there. It's a lot of, uh, you know, like Hoopier, Haman, uh, Yosemi's gone. Uh, we put him in the swap for um, Heitinger in the end. Um, but just because to get rid of Yosemi, really, um, you know what I mean? So I could have maybe possibly signed Heitinger on his own since he was open to negotiation, but um, I figured if we can get rid of Yosemi, that'll cut our our um, our our team budget thing down a bit. They can swing it in from the right wing. Javi Alonso, Gerard, moving up the field, stretching the play. Oh, could have been. Oh, Gerard, let that one go. Approaching the last 15 minutes of the game. Yeah, I'm going to bring on Haleb for the last few minutes. Uh, I'm going to bring on uh, Whitbread as well, and whatnot. Um, why not? You know, I mean, these pre-season matches, you don't really have to think about who you're bringing on, really, especially if you're winning. So, you know, what I mean, they're not really important. But the thing about pre-season matches, honestly, is that you can pick up a few extra points if you beat the teams. So, if you've got say eight pre-season games, you could. Ooh, that was nearly in. You could um, get like say a thousand points or so from each game, and you could get an extra eight thousand. And in. in the meantime, that money could mean an extra transfer or something so it's it's not a bad idea to maybe play the eight if you want a bit of extra cash that was a good ball oh and oh Garcia just reminiscent of that Arsenal um, pass out by their keeper that time <laughs> uh, pressed the uh, wrong button at the wrong time there Kesman's arguing with Alonso Unbelievable. Determined defence there, and it got them possession. Gabi. A long range effort. Good effort, but Carson to it. He just saves everything, Carson, to be honest. Eleb. Fernando Torres. That's a well timed clearance. Cashman, Maxi Rodriguez. Fernando Torres. Torres, good pass. Oh, couldn't put Shimizu in. Yeah, I brought Shimizu on as well. Um, no Schwartz today because uh, Schwartz was um, his, his uh, stamina was a bit low, so I decided to to leave him out. But we're 4 0 up here. We've had a very comfortable game, so there's nothing to complain about or anything. Absolutely fine. Gabby. 
And he'll deliver the cross. Ball in, away. Here's another good opportunity. He crosses it in. Good play by Reese. Uh, he's played well in this match. Leb's ball. Will Torres get the hat trick? Do we? Do we think? It's maybe a bit late now, but still always a chance. Back to the keeper. Back out. Booted back up. Two minutes added on. Fernando Torres. Good ball by Torres there. Whitbread. Good ball by Whitbread into the middle. Oh, couldn't create some space there, but it's back with Haleb. And nobody there to that. Oh. oh, and it's back. But there's the final whistle. That's fine. Absolutely fine with that. Torres played very well. I'm very happy with the team today. 4-0. Uh, you know, I mean, this is kind of getting us prepared for European games as well. So if we play like this, we should be fine. Individual game records. Torres only got 6.5 today, despite uh, how well he played. It was Garcia, though, who got it. He played very well, though, Garcia. I think, to be honest, yeah, he probably does deserve that. Um, nothing really said by anyone else there. And, uh, yeah, very nice game. Uh, there was a breakdown with Dudek, apparently, there, which is a bit worrying. Um, you can try and offer him a contract. Uh, see, Hoopia and, and Haman are up for a sale here. Dudek. Um, we could offer him a little bit more, maybe, then. Uh, try that, possibly. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, I think we'll put Traore up for transfer. Uh, definitely want him up for transfer. Um, really happy with everybody else, to be honest. Um, Felipe there. Yeah, I think I'm happy with everyone else. We've got a few up there that are up for transfer, so, you know, we'll see what comes back. Um, and see what happens. So uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching this episode. Um, I've had a look at some of the transfers, but to be honest, it's not really worth it. We haven't had any offers for our players or anything like that, so there's nothing really that we can do. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead to the next week. And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing Roma next in the next match. So I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys next time when we take on Roma. See you guys then.